What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of OmniFactory. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good, and we've got a couple of things to show today. Uh, because, well, we streamed, and streamed, and streamed. Oh yeah. So this room, uh, it looks pretty nice and everything, but none of these on the sides are connected. The only thing connected is this here and the machines at the top. So what we have over here is one reactor, uh, one of these uh, doing this and only keeping the redstone, the moon turf and the dilithium uh, until a certain point. But I think I already reached the point for the moon turf and the redstone. So at the moment, it's literally just doing the dilithium. Everything else is get sent into garbage. And this one over here, it does this to do stellar creation data. And this is all done with these. The wall of madness. I, I don't know, we don't have a, a real name for it yet. So yeah, uh, this does the tier one. So this part of the wall does tier one and this is tier two uh, while using parts of tier one as well. And well, this here is to make the quantum and the chests. And this here is to simply make all the hydrogen with this here because it is super slow and you need four of these, which if you don't know, it's 81 solidified hydrogen to be able to make it. So pretty much we're always backed up and waiting for these to be made. That's pretty much what happens. But all right, well, let me try to explain a little bit uh, what's going on. So here we've got like all the gears and things like that being made for steel. And the reason why we need this is because when we craft things, we need those stuff. So if we look, uh, I'm trying to find the one that actually crafts it. Um, where's the piston? <laughs> so this one is this. This one is that. There you go. So piston here. So it uses all the steel and stuff. And pretty much what this thing does all over here is it does all the materials. There's a couple of things that come from the system. And this is the list. The only thing that is a pain in my butt to get is the quartzite because there is no way to just get it. So what I've been doing for quartzite uh, is simply getting a bunch of this and I'm not sure why it stopped working. Uh, oops. I don't know why I went down. I need to go up. So let's, let's see what, what's happening. So pulverizer, it doesn't have energy. Um, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Every energy was coming from this. Uh, hmm. Well, in a way, this thing is offline. It should be online. I reconnected it. So I thought it would be online. Oh, no, it's true because I disconnected this cable here. Uh, cable. <laughs> yeah, that's going to help for us to get a little bit more uh, stuff. So let's connect this and this cable. Again, the AE... Uh, Lags a little bit, but I don't get lag in when I play. It's just when I connect something from AE. As you can see, uh, <laughs> it's not a small lag for this. But all right, so this, yes. Okay, so it started back again. And now we're getting the quartzite. But the only thing as well is at the moment, it's giving me this. It's not giving me that. So I'm manually doing it when I can. But yeah, uh, as well, I did two more solar panels like this. Uh, the reason why I did them is because I wanted to finish the quest. And so I've got three over here and one at the base over there. And if we look over here, uh, there's a couple of things that are pretty nice to see. Like the fact that we're almost done with the wetware. We've got like not even 200 to go. 200 and like 30, 246 to be exact. Uh, no, 232. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, we've got these, like like I said, the moon turf and the crushed. Got tier one, tier two automated. 
Uh, I did do the wafers and some conduit binder. So if we look here, uh, this is for the wafer. So over here, there's the materials that go in. So like the tiny piles of gallium and on the other side is the silicon. And the way it's made, it's just, uh, you can get the tiny pile by doing uh, nuggets and then pulverizing it. And over here we do ingots, pulverizing it. And well, over here, it's the wafer. And this pretty much uh, goes back down, I believe, to uh, this here to send into the system. So this works. Uh, we also did this here. It's a little bit weird, but it works. So <laughs> we've got coal into this, but it's being fed by this thing here. So, uh, no, not by this, by, what was it for? Oh yeah, this thing here. So we've got the chest that comes from the system, goes straight into uh, the phantom phase that is connected to the hopper, it powers this, then this thing here grabs the items from these things on the other side, and it's working quite perfectly. And here it's making that, this one's making this, and then it's going there, going into the system. So that is also pretty amazing. I've also doubled this here to make the wetware. Uh, I thought the two would be better than one. And I must say it is, it is, because it's able to keep up with the demand for the circuits. So I think we're pretty good on that end. Uh, one thing I think we need is to make more of these. We will need to automate them to make what we want them to make and maybe keep one for crafting. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the way things are going to need to be. One thing that I think we need to look at probably today is making these. Uh, they're a little bit annoying and I think we can fix that. So these are just made. It's normal. Oop, I didn't want to do that. Um, let, let's grab soul vial. I, I think it's just one of these. Yes. Okay. Whew. I thought I broke it. But yeah, so these are not too bad, but uh, for these over here and that one over there, we really need to automate these to do this way faster because it's not fast enough. But that kind of also means that these won't be fast enough because they don't have any of speed upgrades. So I think today we're going to look into automating these. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do that, but we're going to figure it out. That's the beauty of this. So, <laughs> all right, let me look into how we automate these beautiful things. Okay, I think I figured out how I want to do this and it's using the unpackager. So I think by doing something like this, I'm then able to to do nine, uh, 20 of these here. And they should all be receiving items. So it shouldn't be an issue or anything of the sort. So I think this is the way that I'm gonna do that. Uh, we do need to have power. So we're gonna go from the system, of course. Or, 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 uh, we could use some of that magic. Yeah, I think we could do that. So let's get a facade, uh, like, I don't know, on top here. Let's remove you because you are no longer needed. Uh, and of course we're going to wait for A to stop lagging. Uh, draconic, 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 uh, draconic, draconic, draconic. We're looking for this. And what we're gonna do is put one right here and put one right there. So this one's going to output, this one's going to input, and this thing's going to output there. So this thing now has power. So now we can grab the linker and shift right click and right click. 
Um, input? No, you're supposed to output. But none of the machine can take power at the moment because I did not put any capacitors. Uh, pretty sure that this needs to output. Or is this one outputting? <laughs> I'm not 100% certain yet. Uh, let's see, this one is output for input and input for the output. Okay, so I think this is correct, but we do need to actually connect these. So uh, there's also another thing we're gonna have to connect and it's the uh, tank of XP. So this one's probably gonna be below and just going to be there. Uh, we're going to also place some cables to send the items into the ender chest for the system. And that should be pretty good. Uh, this is, like, not going to make much. We're going to ask for them. I think that's going to be the way we're going to do it. And I think it's just going to be way faster having 20 instead of 1. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for the other one. I just have 10 of these. Uh, I've already have this. And I kind of found a way for us to get the axe and the shears. So it's making wooden shears and this thing's making stone axe. So we're going to grab it from the chest and use that uh, into the system to make the other one. So yeah, this is the setup. I think I'm going to install probably the other one like either over here or over there. But that should be working. Let's make capacitors. So the capacitors, uh, like the octatic, we're going to make like 20, 30, 40 start. And so this should give us the power. Uh, I do have custom ones that like are probably like stronger, but I think it's just going to be easier if I do it like this. Oh, there we go. We're receiving power. So. The connection is fine. All right. And there we go. So they're all connected. And that should work. Awesome. Uh, oh, wait. I kind of messed up here. Yeah, I messed up. You need a way to send your things to this. <laughs> this is the thing that I forgot. So we can make 15? Or... Or we can make 20, but two rows of this. Okay, I think we're going to go with two rows. So it's going to be a little bit different. But it should be quite similar. So let's break all of these. And oh, did I... There's a block somewhere here. Okay. <laughs> Ghost block of machine. I think it's the first time. And there, there's another one somewhere. Because we got nine. Oh, it's because it's right here. I forgot to reactivate the, the magnet. Okay. So we can put those. Uh, let's, let's face them properly. Yes, they have a side. Like so. So like this. And then these. They're, oops, actually going to go there. So we won't have the beautiful pillar that we normally have, but it's fine. If it's functional, I think it's going to be better than <laughs> if it just looks good and it does one at a time. So I think it's going to be a lot better. All right, so again, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so these should also get power from the middle. And we're going to put those right there. And right here. So now they're connected to machines to the side. And of course, we're going to need an ender chest or just a chest in general, probably coming from the system here. Uh, 
that's going to send the power and stuff. Uh, not the power, but the items into these at round robin so that things are fine. So, all right, let's connect these. Okay, and do that. This one doesn't need to be there. All right, and just for the fun, we're gonna do this. So all of them now have power, so it's perfect. And let me make the connections and things, and after that, we're simply gonna test it. It's gonna be nice. Whoa! You know, to be honest, I thought this was gonna look way worse than it does, and it's kind of nice. So pretty much the only thing I found is, uh, I think it's for this one here, since there's already items in there, you cannot click this or it won't put anything in there. Uh, but it kind of works, so if we do a Franken zombie, so let's say we ask for 10 and then start, uh, it's gonna use both, but we're gonna notice it here pretty much instantly. Uh, well, instantly. There you go, so you can't see they're starting to work. So, there we go, it took another one, and then another one. But the thing I might change, which I think I did wrong here, is uh, clicking this. So having more than one might speed up the process, I think. I think this is uh, the main issue that I did. Uh, you know, this sound at some point I was here and I got so scared about the noise that it makes. It's just a weird noise. So, one other thing I'm not sure, and you guys might be able to tell me. Um, does it change anything that I do this? Because they can only take one, so... Would it be better if I did the opposite and I placed some speed upgrades? I don't know what's the difference, really. So let's try again a Franken zombie. Let's make like 50 start. So let's see if it makes a big difference. The thing is, I'm kind of feeling that it's going to put all of them in the same one. thing I'm not sure. It seems to be doing fine. It seems to be slow because of these. Well, these are working, that's for sure. And I kind of love the fact that I'm using wooden shears and things like that to make it. It's just so low tech compared to everything else we've been doing. And I think it's pretty awesome. But yeah, so as you can see, it's it's faster. It's not like the fastest thing in the well, but probably what I'm going to do is ask like for a thousand and then we're going to be good for a little bit. And then when I need more, I'll ask for another thousand and then ask for another thousand. And eventually I'll just ask for a million and we'll be fine. Okay, I'm probably going to need bigger uh, uh, CPUs at the top, but eh, we'll be fine. <laughs> so the only thing though is now we kind of need to automate these kind of stuff so the bat the zombie oh this is why this thing is slow uh i think you can do the zombie the zombie one kenobi uh hmm yeah so you can do the zombie with zombie ed and now that, like, we're actually getting zombie head, I think I'm going to switch it to that. But, last time I tried to do one of those here, um, it wouldn't work. So I did this, then I placed that somewhere in here, uh, removed the other zombie, uh, no, it's vile. Uh, I think I blocked it from here. Um, are you you? Which one are you? Yeah, you're the zombie, so if you did this and instead you did that, 
Oh, hey, it doesn't freak out. But it's not really doing it. Why? It's crafting 10. I did remove the one that's supposed to make it. So it should use the other one. Hmm. Why are you not crafting anything else? You should be making those. But for some reason, there you go. There's one, two. It kind of feels like it's being made somewhere else. <laughs> not like being made in a molecular crafter. It's really weird. This thing... Is this thing quick? Yeah, it's like one of the best. It's 4.1, 3.4, I don't think you can get better than that. I still don't understand why it's waiting for this. Um, can I do this and it's just gonna stop it? No? I don't understand. Okay, let's cancel this. Let's re-ask for like 30. Okay. Is it just gonna craft it now? Yeah, okay. It crafted it instantly, so now it's actually gonna go faster. There we go. That's more like it. That's more of what I'm talking about. Uh, so the same ones are like always turning. But this seems to be working way better than it was. So, perfect. That's the speed I want. Of course, can we make like this one? Yeah, there's a couple of materials like we do need to craft every time. Like basic RF capacitors, I didn't know it was needed. So maybe I'll do something for this. And uh, there's things like tin wire and these kind of stuff. So just to get all the materials that we might need for these automated and get like a bunch. I think that could be something pretty nice. But I like the fact that we look at it from here and it's like this. Um, but yeah, like I said, there, there seems to be a couple of them that like you can't craft. Uh, I don't remember, but I think it was like something with the villager. So like this one with the villager. If you're trying to craft that one. Inside AE, your AE would throw an error. So let's put it like here and let's try that. So a villager. Well, it works now. Um, not sure why I would try to crash before. When I tried to do them, they crashed. So I guess now they work. So I'm just going to put the recipes and make sure that like we're never going to run out of any of the materials that we might need. So like emeralds, we're probably going to need to get more endermans involved to get uh, some emeralds because you can't pour down emeralds. It's kind of a bummer. So it's kind of a problem as well. Uh, also, I think I'm going to move these inside of here. It's where I had my other stuff. Just because I think it's going to fit well. It's gonna be nice. Uh, this mess here, we really need to fix that, but eh, it's kind of there. And also, do of the void. Let's make that because you need this to make the Ender Star, which you need to make the ex ex Eternal Catalyst. So this is pretty much the last piece that was missing for me to make this. So let's see on how to make do of the void. So you need. Resonant tender, it's easy. So pulsating crystal and vibrant crystal. So let's try that. So pulsating crystal and vibrant crystal. All right, so crystal. Oh, I forgot, I've got the million crystal. All right, and I presume these get pulverized. And pulverizer, it's the Blendomatic 3772. Uh, they, they change pretty often. Uh, grain, there we go. So we've got these two, boom and bam. 
Uh, let's come over here to the thing that has literally no power. Um, I'll take you and put you there. And I will vibrant capacitor you to get a little bit of power in there. Why isn't it outputting? There we go. Now that should output. All right, we're getting a little bit of power here. So let's do this. Put these two. And we need Resonant Ender. Pretty sure we have Resonant Ender somewhere. Uh, let's get ourselves a tank because that's the way we rule. We roll also. That's the way we roll also. All right, let's put that one over there and we're gonna need some conduit. Uh, I need two just because of the way I placed it. Oh wait, actually we don't. Input. There we go. So we actually don't need. So this thing's gonna fill in and we're gonna need a bucket to make the do. Uh, wait, why can't I grab the do? Um, alright, well, if you don't want to grab the do, well, we're going to put it in a tank. Alright, and we're going to configure that to do push. Alright. And now I can grab a bucket. Uh, I didn't even know it was a quest. And bam, we've got the do. All right, so with this, like I said, we're gonna be able to put that in a chemical reactor to get the star. So that should be quite nice. And I guess we don't need those anymore. So I'm pretty happy with all this. We've got a system now that can do uh, these a lot faster because that was pretty much the thing that was slowing me down. Anytime I was making a machine, uh, these would slow me down really hard. So I'm pretty happy with these. Uh, during the weekend, I'm thinking maybe we'll work. Uh, if I stream, I might, I might not. I'm still not sure. But if we do, uh, we might work on either the assembly line to get more and automating them or the, uh, the draconic stuff to get more and also uh, working towards uh, getting more of these so that I can make like really powerful things. But I think that's actually going to be it for today. So I do hope you little, you like the little recap and the little work uh, we did on these machines. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you really loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.